Here a business owner wants to open the city's first food cart pod. Yeah, as Cor Harlan shows us, though, he got a big surprise when he found out how much it would cost. The man who wants to site four new food carts here in this parking lot near Western Avenue and Beaverton Hillsdale Highway says he had a meeting with city planners in the city of Beaverton recently and found out that his upfront costs, he says, might cost him upwards of $80,000. I was shocked. I'm thinking, I can't recoup my money for five to ten years on this thing. Why would I want to do it? Why would anybody want to do it? It, it just seems like the city of Beaverton was saying, we really don't want carts, but we're going to allow carts. Kent Drangschult tallied up the cost estimates for the new food carts. Two grand for the application alone, $4,600 a piece for each hookup. And Kent says the city of Beaverton wants him to dig up his parking lot and install permanent utility hookups for water, sewer, and electricity, similar to what Kent says you'll find in an RV park. And he says that estimate came in at about thirty to fifty thousand dollars. For whatever reason they think that that's the best way to go, I. You know, I'm sure it would look nice. That's great. But we can physically do it so it looks nice above ground for a tenth of the cost. Kent says while planners were pretty clear about what they required for the food carts, they didn't seem much interested in how much money he'd be making to try and pay for the improvements. I talked with Beaverton's community development director, Cheryl Tweedy, on the phone this morning, who tells me this is the first food cart application they've had. And while she says Beaverton is encouraging food carts and hopes it doesn't cost as much as Kent fears, she says the city will have a more precise idea of what's required later this week when it gets final input from water, sewer, and park district planners in Washington County. In Beaverton, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.